welcome back for the course fluid mechanics so in the previous class uh, we have uh, started with the module one introduction that is the concept of fluid so we'll continue with that module one the first part of the module one that is the properties of the fluid so today we are going to discuss about the different uh, properties of the fluid so we have various characteristics or properties of the fluid so the very first property of the fluid is mass density as you see in the figure the first property is a mass density and the second is weight density the third one is specific gravity and fourth one is specific volume so fifth cohesion addition viscosity surface tension vapor pressure and cavitation and capillarity that is capillary rise and capillary fall so so these are the different types of properties what we are going to discuss today's in the today's class so in the today's class we are going to will discuss so mass density weight density specific gravity and specific volume cohesion and addition the first six property we are going to discuss today so we'll see one by one so the first property is mass density which is also called as specific mass which is denoted by the symbol rho so what is mass density so what is the definition of this mass density or specific mass mean so it is the ratio of mass per unit volume so mass density or specific mass is defined as the mass per unit volume so whereas you can see here as we know so rho is the density so rho is the density symbol for density so simply we can say mass by volume is the mass density of specific mass it is a ratio of mass by volume so so the next is the what is the unit for this uh, mass density is as you see here the formula for the mass density is uh, rho which is mass by volume we know the unit for the mass is for a mass the unit is kg whereas for volume the unit is meter cube so the si unit for mass density rho is kg per meter cube or gram per centimeter cube so in terms of mk system it is kg per meter cube whereas in terms of uh, CGS system it is gram per centimeter cube. So, what is the standard value for this mass density or specific mass? Is? So, the mass density of water. So, the generally, so for a water, the density is one gram per meter cube or thousand kg per meter cube. So, we usually take considered a rho as 1000 kg per meter cube while solving the any of the problems and the density of air the standard value of air is so 1.24 kg per meter cube at 20 degree celsius so the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and the density of air is 1.24 kg per meter cube so at a standard temperature 20 degree celsius so here this mass density or specific mass it is proportional to the number of molecules in a unit volume regardless of its state. so whether the molecules are in solid liquid or gaseous state so as as the name says mass mass means the like number of molecules so this mass density rho is proportional to mass it is directly proportional to mass so 
we can say so it is proportional to the number of molecules per unit volume per unit volume so whether it may be uh, in a solid state or liquid state any state so mass rho is proportional to the number of molecules present and here so this mass density or specific mass will vary with respect to both temperature and pressure so if for example if the temperature increases then what happens the molecular activity is going to increase so if the temperature increases then volume is going to increase so if volume increases then the density is going to decrease so if you for example if you can study your boiling the water so then so if you increase if you go on boil the water what happens the volume of that uh, water is going to increase so if temperature increases volume increases so as the volume is indirect inversely proportional so inversely proportional to density so it is rho is inversely proportional to 1 by v so density decreases if temperature increases then volume increases so density will decrease because it is inversely proportional so similarly if pressure increases if pressure increases then what happens the volume decreases if pressure increases volume decreases then density will increase okay so because if you compress if you apply the pressure on the water what happens the volume is going to the water or any liquid or fluid is going to compress and the volume is going to reduce so in turn the density will increase because it is inversely proportional if the volume decreases then density increases so like that so the mass density will vary with respect to both temperature and pressure and uh, here that is because due to the molecular activity and spacing between the molecules so if the temperature increases molecular activity will increase and that will create a space between the molecules the space is going to increase from one molecule to another molecule so due to that so like that the way the density will vary with respect to both temperature and pressure so this is the first property of the fluid that is mass density so it is the ratio of mass per volume and the unit for this mass density is kg per meter cube the standard value for water rho for water so density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so mass density of air is 1.24 kg per meter cube and it will vary with respect to both temperature and pressure if temperature increases then volume increases then density decreases so or if pressure increases then volume decreases then density increases so the formula for the mass density is rho is equal to mass by volume so this is the first property of the fluid so we'll just move to the next second property of the fluid fluid so here whatever this mass density is there so that mass density of a liquid will be constant for example here so the density of water which is 1000 kg per meter cube so this is a constant value so for a liquid for a liquid so it may be liquid may be water or a petrol diesel the density of liquid will be constant okay and uh, for a gas for a gas the density will vary so for liquid it will remain constant for where whereas for a gases the density will vary because so the molecules will be moving with the the space between randomly moving in case of gases so molecules will be moving randomly so for a gases the density of gas will vary for liquid it will remain constant so this is the first property of the fluid that is mass density or specific mass so 
we'll just discuss the second property that is weight density or specific weight. So first one is mass density. The second one is weight density. So which is denoted by the symbol. So gamma or small w. So we can denote it either by gamma or small w. So here, so what is weight density or specific weight? Whereas, so as of the mass density, so weight density is weight by volume. So it is the weight density is defined as the ratio of weight per unit volume or weight per volume. So this formula is gamma is equal to so this is a capital W okay don't confuse with this small w so small w is also denoted for weight density or specific weight so capital W is the weight so we know the unit the SI unit for this weight density or specific weight is so it is newton per meter cube so for weight the unit is newton and for volume the unit is meter cube so the SI unit for weight density is newton per meter cube. So here the standard value of specific weight, the gamma or small w of water, water is 9810 because we know the weight. What is weight? So weight, we have the formula. So weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity w is equal to mg we know so if you substitute this here in the weight density formula then you will get gamma is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity divided by volume so where mass by volume so where here this mass by volume is nothing but your mass density that is a rho into g. So we have a relation between mass density and weight density is gamma is equal to rho into g which is nothing but weight density is equal to mass density into acceleration due to gravity. So from this equation so you will get the standard value of this weight density for a water as 9810 because so if you substitute if you consider this equation so rho is 1000 we know the density mass density of water is 1000 and g is 9.85 so where you will get weight density as 9810 newton per meter cube okay so and as of the mass density, the weight density will also vary with respect to both temperature and pressure. So as you know, so if the temperature increases, so you, here you see uh, it is a ratio of weight per volume. So that is gamma is equal to W by B and the weight, weight is nothing but mass into acceleration where mass by volume you can write it as rho into G that is a relation and the unit is uh, Newton per meter cube or time per centimeter cube in terms of the other unit. So in terms of uh, CGS system, in terms of MK system it is Newton per meter cube in terms of uh, CGS system it is dying per centimeter cube and here 1 newton is equal to 1 kg meter per second square. So we know 1 newton is 1 kg newton kg meter per second square. And uh, so as I told the density of water the standard value of water is 9810 newton per meter cube at 4 degree celsius or it is also written as 9.81 kilo newton per meter cube or 1000 kgf per meter cube that is kilogram force per meter cube or 981 type per centimeter. So you will get confused you just remember the one unit that is so 9810 newton per meter cube. The weight density for water is 9810 newton per meter cube and as I told it 
the weight density will also vary with respect to both temperature and uh, pressure. So if temperature increases, so if temperature increases, what happens? The volume is going to increase. If volume increases, then density will decrease because it is inversely proportional. So and also similarly, if pressure increases, then what happens? Volume decreases, then density will increase. So because gamma is also inversely proportional to volume. So if volume increases, gamma, gamma decreases. So if volume decreases, then gamma increases. It is a reverse. So and here, so the density of liquid. So whereas the mass density of a liquid will remain constant. So mass density of gas will vary. But here, the weight density of liquid will be having a slight variation. And uh, whereas uh, for a gases, it will be a very greatly means weight density or mass density both will vary both will vary for in case of gases whereas in case of liquids only mass density will remain constant whereas weight density will be uh, there will be a very slight changes slight variation in case of weight density so the next that is the second property so that is weight density hope you understood the weight density so it is just these are the simple properties the next property is the specific volume which is denoted by the symbol capital v okay so here specific volume is denoted so both in terms of weight density or mass density so it is the ratio of volume of fluid per unit weight or per unit mass so either it is so it is denoted by capital v either it is volume by rho sorry volume by mass or volume by weight okay so you can use both so it is the ratio of volume per unit mass or volume per unit weight so both we, you, we can define the specific volume in terms of both the both weight and whole mass so here you can see the specific volume v is equal to sorry this is a small v so specific volume is denoted by small v so whereas capital V is the volume. So specific volume is equal to volume per mass or volume by weight. So and if you send this volume to the denominator in both the cases. So then the specific volume will be 1 by mass by volume or 1 by weight by volume. So mass by volume is a rho. You can see here you can. So the equation will be specific volume V small v is equal to 1 by rho or 1 by gamma. So you can also define the specific volume as the as the reciprocal of mass density or weight density. So using this. So and uh, as you see the formula, from the formula itself you can derive the unit for the specific volume. So it is a volume per mass or volume per weight. So it will be meter cube per kg or meter cube per newton. So and uh, this property also, the specific volume also varies with respect to both temperature and pressure you can just uh, so if temperature increases volume increases so here so the specific volume is directly proportional here you can see so v is directly proportional to capital so if temperature increases the volume increases and specific volume will also increase so similarly if pressure in what pressure increases volume decreases then specific volume will also decreases. 
so it is directly proportional here so the specific volume so will is directly proportional to the volume so so if temperature increases then volume increases specific will all, volume will also increase and the specific volume for a liquid so here also it will be having a very slight variation specific volume has a very slight variation so in case of liquid and uh, in case of gases so it is same as the root of the main density it will vary greatly so both the density of liquid will be having a, a slight variation so and also gas will be having a very a high variation with respect to the specific volume and this uh, specific volume is majorly applicable only in case of gases so it is not applicable in cases of liquid so that is the third property so the fourth property is a specific gravity or it is also called as the relative density so which is denoted by the symbol capital yes so here so the specific gravity can be defined as the density mass density or weight density of a fluid to the that mass density or weight density of a standard fluid so it is so it is a ratio of mass density or weight density of a fluid to the mass density or weight density of standard fluid so here the standard fluid is considered to be a water so here you can see the standard fluid we have considered it as a water so so symbolically we can represent specific gravity sg as rho by rho of water or gamma by gamma of water okay so so we know the dens density of water already it is 1000 so if you are using a density that is if you are using rho so you have to consider the density of water that is 1000 kg per meter cube and similarly if you are using a gamma that is weight density if you are using mass density 1000 kg per meter cube if you are using weight density you have to consider 9810 newton per meter cube so and here as you see so both the denominator and denominator are the same parameter that is so mass density by mass density or weight density by weight density so this specific gravity is a dimensionless quantity so when so specific gravity has no unit and uh, as i told for liquids the standard fluid we are going to consider as water at a four degree celsius and for uh, gases we are going to consider the standard fluid as a gas and uh, here so we have an experimental setup to determine the specific gravity that is laboratory experiment we have to determine the specific gravity of the fluid so that is uh, calculated using the laboratory experiment using pyknometer so pyknometer is an instrument which is used to measure the specific gravity of a fluid and uh, the standard value of this uh, specific gravity is so s for water especially for water the value of specific gravity is 1 so and for mercury it is 13.6 so these are the standard specific gravity for both water and mercury so for water it is 1 and for mercury it is 13.6 so that is the a fourth property specific gravity or a relative density so it is the ratio mass density to the mass density of water so hope you remember the values so for water it is 1 and for mercury it is 30.6 and it is determined using the pyknometer so the next property is the cohesion so what is cohesion see here so cohesion means 
it is the intermolecular force of attraction between the same liquids so we can say it is the intermolecular the force of attraction between the same molecules so here in the figure you can see see both are a liquid molecules both are in same colors so for this consider this as the one molecule and this as the another molecule so both the force of attraction between these two molecules the force of attraction between two same molecules both are water only so that is called cohesion cohesion is nothing but so it is a property of a fluid where the intermolecular force of attraction so between the same liquids it is the force of attraction between the same liquids and here what is this uh, i don't know what is the property or characteristics of this cohesion means it is a tendency of liquid to remain under one assembly of particles so what it will do so it will make the liquid to remain as an all the molecules or all the liquid particles to assemble as in one unit so that is the property the main tendency of this cohesion cohesive property see for example in the simple terms we can say it is the force between like molecules like means the same molecules so the example for this uh, uh, cohesive property is mercury so here you can see in the pictures see here mercury you know the property of the mercury mercury will not adhere to any of the surface surface so for example if you keep a mercury in your hand it won't stick on to your hand because it due to the property of cohesion because all the mercury particles will remain together as in one assembly because the force of attraction is more the force it is nothing but the cohesion property it is a force between the same molecules so similarly whatever the droplets which is formed on the leaves so that is also due to the cohesion property so that is an example for this cohesion property where practically you can see this cohesive property so okay remember the cohesion means it is the force of attraction between the same liquids so we'll go to the next property so the next property is the adhesion so the what is whatever the cohesion is the adhesion is the reverse of that cohesive property cohesion means it is the force of attraction between the same liquids whereas adhesion means it is the force of attraction between the different molecules or unlike molecules so here you can see it is the force of attraction so between molecules of liquid and a solid bond means so liquid is one boundary and solid is another bond so which is in contact with the liquid means uh, the force of attraction between two different surfaces or two different liquid molecules so in simple terms what we can say it is the force between unlike molecules okay so one is a solid molecule and another one is liquid molecule so simple terms is the force of attraction between unlike molecules so here you can see the colors change so earlier in case of cohesion both were the same colors but here you can see so one is blue color and another one is green color means so the force of attraction between two different molecules okay it may be liquid solid or gas liquid or any other different two different molecules and here you can see the example for this property one is the water droplets which is formed on the flower and also the the water droplet uh, on this spider web so with the water which is stick stick down to the spider web so there the spider web is one solid surface and liquid is another surface here also the flower is another surface the flower the solid molecule is in one one surface and liquid is in another surface means so there is an attraction the force of attraction between two different molecules the flower molecule the solid molecule and the liquid here also spider web is a 
solid molecule and the liquid is an other molecule. So those two are the examples of halation property. So it is the force between alkyl molecules. So hope you remember, uh, understood the different properties starting with the mass density, weight density, specific volume, specific gravity, addition and cohesion. So we'll stop here and uh, we'll just continue with the other properties in the next class. And thank you.